That's true. Particularly the ancient, ancient prophets. One of the things that is to their credit is that they trust in the faithfulness of God. Once you see the promise of God, they trust absolutely. They did not experience salvation. They didn't know redemption. They didn't know baptism of the Holy Ghost. They didn't know sanctification. But when God speaks, they trust absolutely in His faithfulness. They rest in His faithfulness. This promise was when they go through terrible problems. When they go to life-threatening problems, that's the waters of life. Waters of oppression. He says it will be with them. When they pass through the river, that's his opposition. Persecution. He said he will be with them. And when they pass through fire of affliction, there are affliction in this life. He has not promised us life that is without affliction. He said, in tribulation we shall enter into the kingdom. But he promised, he will be with us. How many of us know, I believe, that God was with you in January? If you believe, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. So wherever you are, whatever you are, no matter what you are passing through, right now, I decree that the prince of this world will not be your strength. Your strength 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 will not be your strength. Assure me of your presence. Let me see the signs of your presence. Let the enemy see your presence. Let the adversary see the power of your presence. Every step you take this year, every journey you embark upon this year, the presence of God will guide you in the name of Jesus. Wherever God will not go, Wherever God will not appear for you, you will not go there in the name of Jesus. In all journeys, each day, each week, each month, in all adventures, God will remain with you. God will abide with you. God will uphold you. Uh, I don't like your amen. Amen. We have just said in journey, in every journey to new day. As of our way, book boy, I just see the two. No, in every journey to a new day. Ninu book boy, I just for a jump, you know. In a dot, a dot to two. Ninu, I just for a dot to two. You know, you journey to each day. On Jia Mope, every day I just see a double body each week. In your journey to each month, and in all your adventure, we are saying that God's presence will be with you. In the mighty name of Jesus, when the presence of God is with you, you can never be disgraced. You can never be disappointed. You can never experience downfall. No shame. Because the presence of God will bring you supernatural victory. Lay your hand on your head, say, Father Lord. In every agenda, in everything I back upon this month, let your presence 
all my this month of February. Physical and spiritual. Like the presence of God. Give me supernatural breakthrough and victory. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. In all my journeys. Be my sufficiency. Supply all my needs. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus, power of the name we pray. You need to believe the presence of God. The Bible says, Yeah, God, little children. Greater is he that is in you that he that is in the world. So ye are God. We are carrying the nature of God. We are children of God. We are named by his name. Also, one you must believe. Agbagbo. That the only thing that is constant in our life that on, the unbeliever does have on kono to wa nu aye wa ta won lagbagbo ni is the presence of god ni wa laye olorun that what make you to be a christian in to je ki mi a je je christian ni re in no situation shall you fret in no situation shall you be afraid o mo gbogbo wa la to la kuja ni wo ma beru i want to tell you the mystery of god's presence this moment so fun wa in to je asiri wa laye olorun in this world ni aye yi the presence of God manifests in three forms. So that you can have assurance that you are going to navigate to March and you are going to see the end of this year. Wherever your siblings are, your children are, your husbands are, the presence of God for your sake. With never elude them. As long as you are a believer. Mystery of presence. His presence. In to jere abi ashiri iwalaye re. Number one thing you know. Oh my God, don't let him on. God manifests Himself in three forms. Allah don't fara re on your no matter. Number one. Akoko. God is present in nature. Olu wa wa balu wa ni ba isheda. His presence and His omnipotence is seen in nature. Oh, jamja le ri ni no ipele ti isheda. Everybody knows that. Even believers know and acknowledge that the presence of God is in nature. Bobo wala mo wale ba bobo mo ile yi. The power of God, omnipresent, omnipresent, omnipresent power of God is there everywhere in the world. Simultaneously. Oh, wale ni bobo wa falu wa. Everywhere. Oh, wale ni bobo. In nature, God is there. Oh, wale ni be falu wa. God is also present in providence. Oh, to wale ni no ishe to dera. In providence. In giving life to everything. In giving life to supporting everything that is created. In observing everything that is created. In ordering the step of everything that is created. In ruling and overruling everything that is created. Is present by providence. Everything that happens is orchestrated by his name and is managed by his presence. So apart from nature, apart from providence, God is present in man. His presence in human beings, particularly believers, guide them to protect them, to support them, to strengthen them, to supply them comfort. This is the highest level of relationship with the Almighty. If God present is with you, you have everything. Why we honor and respect and appreciate our leadership? At all levels. We have everything. We have everything. We have everything. Is the presence of God. When our daddy comes in on Sunday, we see the glory of God. When we see our mommy, we see the glory of God. When we see our daddy coming, we see the glory of God. When we see the mommy coming, we see the glory of God. We carry out His presence. And we are glad that we are under this ministry of people who carry God's presence. And you can know that because they are totally sold for the Lord. Most of them, that you better be one to go back and watch for Lord. 
Every year, every year, every year, every year, around here, around here. I pray that we shall get there. None of us will miss heaven in the name of Jesus. So God is presence in man. To guide, to protect, to support, to strengthen, to supply them comfort, to deliver them in time of war. To watch over them when they sleep. When they go into a journey, they don't know what is ahead. They don't know what is ahead. What is ahead. So you must believe the presence of God. And that will inform the conduct of your life. So that you don't live and choke the Holy Spirit in the way manner you live. So that you can make your life, your body comfortable for God to live. So that you can make your life, your body comfortable for God to live. That's what the book of Jude said, that some people live in a manner that they do not make the Holy Spirit comfortable in their heart, their body. Now, for a man, particularly for a Christian, there are three levels of relationship with God. There are three areas in which God can be with you. And those three levels are so important. Number one, God can be in you. Not devil will be. No. God. When God is with you, your children will know. Your husband will know. Your neighbor will know. Your enemy will know. That God is with you. First John chapter 4, verse 4. First John 4, 4. Say ye are God. Ye are of God. Little children. And have overcome them. Because. Greater is he that is in you. Than he that is in the world. So by God being in you. You are victorious already. Nothing can overcome you. No plague can come near you. Even read the book of Exodus chapter 8 verse 22 or so. 20 or 22. The reason why plague could not get into Goshen is because God's presence was in the midst of the Israelites. I think it's, uh, I will serve the Syrian Yes, yes, yes. Check it. In which my people dwell, that no swarm of fly shall be there to the end that they may know that I am the Lord in the midst of the heart. He was in the midst of his people. It wasn't Goshen land himself that was that, that was good. It was God's presence in the midst of his people in Goshen. That's why no can enter. So if God is in you, he said you overcome them. You know those them. Satan and his advice and his agents. Forces of hell. As all the wickedness. You overcome them. You want to know how so wickedness? Isaiah chapter 26 verse 10. Go and read it. Isaiah verse 10. If you don't have God in you, let favor be shown to the wicked. Yet they will not learn righteousness. In the land of right, uprightness, we will they unjustly and will not behold the majesty of the Lord. So, no matter the favor you do to the wicked, he will not learn righteousness. Bring him to the land of uprightness. He will see do evil there. Because the presence of God is not in there. And you have the presence of God. If you don't have the presence of God, the wicked will destroy. Because what they lack is the presence. They, they, they cannot appreciate the majesty, the presence of the Lord. Number two, level of relationship. If God can be for you, I like that one. When you are living in righteousness of Christ, and you are living and you are trans for hunger, you are hunger for you are hunger for your hunger is for righteousness and holiness. It will be for you. It will be your ally. Psalm 4 verse 4. 
Amplified Bible says God is your ally. He will be for you. That is one of the greatest level of relationship. Romans 8, 31. Romans 8, 31. What shall we then say to this thing? If God be for us, who can be against us? Brethren, this is the highest level of relationship. That God will be for you in this matter. God will be your ally in this matter. God will be on your side in this matter. Ah, that is my greatest prayer anywhere that I have to face a challenge. Anytime I have to face a crowd, anytime you have to face opposition, that in this matter, the Almighty God, the ancient of days, will be my ally in this matter. He will justify me in this matter. And before you know it, He will prove His presence. He will create a door for escape. He will send an angel who will stand, stand for you, who will defend you. Praise God. God. The third level of relationship with God, God can be with you. He can always be with you constantly. By your side, in every area of your life, at all times. Isaiah 41 verse 10. Fear not, I am with thee. Be not dismayed, I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. I will uphold thee with the heart of my righteousness. Now, that was the presence, promise of God to Moses. He even said, I will be in your mouth. Ah, God, be in my brain. God be in my heart. God be in my blood. God be in my heart. These are wonderful prayers. And God will take over your body and your tabernacle. And then you begin to see right. Speak right. Think right. Say, I will be in your mouth. You will even say right. Praise God. So God can be with you. God can be for you. And God can be in you. Shall we say that God can be in you? God can be for you. And God can be with you. So which one do you like most? The three must be combined. Say my father, my father. Let your presence be in me. As a mighty warrior. As a savior, as a redeemer. As a nourisher. As a healer. As a, as, 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 as a prophet that will speak through me. Let your presence be in me. In the name of the of Jesus. To die. To direct me, to guide me, to strengthen me. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Let your presence be in me, to guide me, to direct me, to support me, to strengthen me, to give me wisdom, understanding, inspiration. Let your presence be in me. Okay, open your mouth and say, Father. Let your presence be for me. Let your presence be for me. Be on my side in every situation. In every area of life. In every meeting, in every journey. Let your presence be with me. Be for me. God, be on my side. In every battle, be on my side. And fight for me. And finally, Father, let your presence be with me. Be with me. So that Fear we go. Strengthen me and help me. Oluwa, if you make up for me, Lord, we shall be blessed. In Jesus' name, we pray. Yes, like Badula. If God is with you, tell us about what. When you, when things will happen. If God is with you, there are three powerful things you enjoy. Isaiah 41 verse 10. If God is with you, in your journey, in your home, in your business, in your ministry, if God is with you, in any activity you do, because we have to move, we have to think, we have to walk, and the Bible says in him we move and we, and we have a being, if God is with you, every day, three great things will happen, so you know he's in you, you know it's for you. But as you wake up in the morning, he must be. He must be. He must be with you. Very important. 
You have to ask for that one. Every morning. I know you are in me. Mama, boy, I know Baba. Thank you. You wake me up this morning. You have, been, you have attended to me in fellowship. And you know. You are you are for me. You are my ally. Whatever I do, you are on my side. Don't let me do anything wrong today. Don't let me say it you. That's where you are problem. When is your ally? Are you aligned? When is your ally? Are you disobedient? When you are your ally? Are you are not walking responsibly. Are you are not walking responsibly. Are you not walking responsibly. Are you are not walking responsibly. You are my ally. Don't let me say against you this morning. Don't let me do anything that is going to trust you with this one. That one is very good. But as I'm going out now, be with me on my journey. I go to face crowds you don't know. I go to talk to people you have never met before. Let your presence be with me. When your presence is with you, three things you enjoy. Isaiah 41 was said. I say I only care for the Lord God. Yes, I care what. So I can pray correctly in the morning. So we need to get out. Say, fear doubt not. For I am with thee. Be not dismayed. I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. That's number one. Say yeah. I will help thee. That's number two. Number three, yeah. I will uphold thee with my right hand of righteousness. That's what God. To do for you now. Every morning, every morning, when you pray that for yourself, pray for your children. My Lord and my God, you are the God of my children. You are the God of the devil. You are the God of the other You are the God of the other You are the God of the other Be our God. Who that you are God? Strengthen me, strengthen my children. Help me, help my children. Help me, help my children. Help me, help my children. Help me, them too. Lori Bobon Tobala Kojani. Your statue, your mother. Oti you your journey. Faithful God. Oti your Lord. Will never leave you nor forsake you. Only one. If you are still at God's party, what does it mean to strengthen you? Kini itu mele be ki olu ago fuani oku. To strengthen your soul. So that you can perform your duty. Whether physical or spiritual. To strengthen you to resist temptation today. To strengthen you to bear the affliction you are passing through. So that each day you will not fall. You will not give in to the devil. He will strengthen you to, to prevail and suffer persecution. You will strengthen you to bear the affliction you are passing when you have this strength, you will not fear. It won't be better. That's what he said. It doesn't yeah. When you have this strength, you will not fear. It won't be better. I said, fear not. I am with thee. I will strengthen this. It will strengthen your soul today. It will help you perform your duty today. It will help you to resist and overcome temptation today. It will help you to bear your affliction today. It will help you to suffer and prevent over persecution today. In all these areas, because of inner strength, there shall be no fear. In the name of Jesus. Psalm 27 verse 1. Psalm 27 verse 1. He said, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Number two. When God is with you every day, you will receive constant help. I like that. In everything you need. Help with God. It will help you out of affliction. Help you out of temptation. Help you out of the hand of the enemy. Help you to decide your duty. Help you to bear your cross daily. Help you to run the race for each day and fulfill your destiny. Help you to fight your battle. Help you to secure mercy that you need. Help you to supply of food and drink and garment. All your daily need. It will help you. Where God is with you, He will strengthen you. Where God is with you, He will help you. Hebrews 
13 verse 5. Let not your conversation be without conversation. Let your conversation be without conversation and be content with such things as ye have. He will supply your daily need. Because he has said he will never give you no food. So I should look unto heaven. Psalm 121, verse 1 and 2. It will always supply your help. Help for each day. How many of us know that help is ready for you today? Receive help in the name of Jesus. Jesus. And finally, number three. When God is with you, He will uphold you. With His victorious right hand. That is very important. So you cannot fall into the ditch. You cannot sink in the merry clay. The enemy cannot overwhelm you. His mighty hand will fish you out. That means he will support you with his right hand. You will not sleep. You will not fall. You will not sleep. You will not fall. And it will sustain you. In the battle. In your prayer. In your fasting. It will sustain you. And then it will preserve you. For every try and temptation. That's what it will do. And I pray for you now. Every day this one is done. God will uphold you. With his hand of righteousness. He will carry you out of affliction. Out of trouble. Out of peril, out of tragedy, out of calamity, in the mighty name of Jesus, He will take you out of the bed of languishing. In the mighty name of Jesus. Now, when these things are settled in your life, when you experience these three things, when you enjoy these three things, strength from the Lord, consult Him from Him, holding you each day. You, you secure your breakthrough. You break forth. You all the horse of the earth. Among the horse of life, you come to your each day. We become a value to your life. So many examples of people that experience his presence in the Bible. Genesis 26 verse 1 to 28 we read it throughout the last month of Rehoboth. It was the presence of God in the life of Isaac. It was like a lot of our Isaac is that make him to sow in a dry ground. In the time of drought, ni igba won and generated bomb harvest. O si kore to pore pete. I learned that through all the months of January. Emi ko ile ni oshukini. There are no robots without God's presence. Be ko si robot to ba si wa le Olorun. Hard ground. He sowed in the land in hard ground. God who can say, Let there be light and there will be light. God who can say, Let there be water and there will be water. When he opened the eyes of the slave girl of Abraham, Abraham. when the baby was dying, God opened the eyes and he saw it well. If that God is with you, you can never experience dryness. You can never experience drought. And I pray for you this morning, wherever you saw this year, particularly this month, the presence of God will give you bomba harvest in the name of Jesus. I landed through the whole boat in Genesis 26 verse 16. Genesis 26 verse 16. We are told in that one last month that even the enemy, the Philistines, they envy them. What do you say? You are mightier than us. A nation. The king of a nation is that one man. Only the same for any con. That will be your testimony. Hey, my name is Jerry. I'm at Chile. Ah, even this nation, some people are mightier. Nio, ili, ori le chawe ga. When they speak, when they move, go and check your 
on your social media. You will see people there. You will see the people that are the center of, of discussion. I pray that this month, your destiny will matter to the kingdom of God. Your life will matter to the kingdom of God. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will be a strong man. Nobody will be permitted to put you down. Your glory will rise. The glory of your husband will rise. The glory of your chair will rise. What the enemy hates is to see in your life. What the enemy hates to see in your life. In total, God will multiply and increase. In the name of Jesus. Genesis 39. Genesis 1 to 23. Genesis 39. Genesis 1 to 23. Joseph prospered. Indescribably. You can't describe it. In the house of Potiphar. Why? His master said, his, his presence of, I don't know what his master saw. But he said, everything he was doing was succeeding. That is the presence of God. I pray for you this month. Whatever you lay your hand on to do, God will lay your hand on them. You will succeed. The presence of God will be seen by your enemies. And they will hand over to you. In Jesus' name. The presence of God will cause your enemy to be afraid of you. In Jesus' name. Genesis 28 verse 11 to 10. Genesis 28 verse 11 to 15. Genesis 28, 11 to 15. Jacob was running away from his family. Jacob. He was running away. He didn't know where he was going. He was so poor. Life was so hard for him. He got to a place, he took a pillow, a stone for a pillow. And he wanted to sleep. Over soon. In his hopelessness. In his loneliness. The presence of God appeared to him. And God told him. In this journey I will preserve you. How many of us want that kind of miracle? In the name that's above every other name. Every day. Every man. Every week. This month and this year. Wherever you are. Wherever your children are. God will preserve them. I said, God will preserve you in the name of Jesus. My brothers and sisters, much more important than anything. In you don't let anybody provoke you so that the Holy Ghost can be grieved. You are entitled to the way you react to opposition. You are entitled to it too. Don't let anybody drag you to a battle that will make you to be angry and do evil. Because of the presence of God. There are so many examples. But before, because you want to pray. Exodus 3, 7 to 10. Exodus 3, 7 to 10. God appears to Moses at the back side of the field while he was tending the flock of his father's father in law's uh, cattle. And God told Moses, I have come down to deliver the children of Israel from the power of Egypt. And said, Moses, you have to lead my people out. So Moses complained. Of his inadequacies, of his limitations, to confront Pharaoh, and God told him, "I will certainly be with you." Exodus three verse twelve. New Living Translation. I will certainly be with you. And He gave him a sign, and this is I am that. You. The one that sent you, he gave him a sign. He told him a sign. And from that moment, Moses never doubted the presence of God. The presence of God turned his weakness, his limitation, to instrument of signs and wonder. What are the weaknesses in your life? Lift up your two hands to heaven. Lord, 
Let your presence transform my life. Let your presence enter into my situation. My circumstances, oh God, give me mighty strength in areas of weakness. Give me mighty resources in areas I have not been. Let your presence, let your presence be with me in Jesus' name. Exodus chapter 4 verse 10. Moses said, I am not eloquent. Therefore, since thou hast spoken to thy servant, but I am low of speech and low of tongue. So, that was Moses. And he was using his hand to fight. To defend his people before he left for his own. But the same hand became the agent and generator of signs and wonder. So God is God and his presence must always be with you. Now, after the 10 verse 38, just like in summary, Act 10 38. How God anointed Jesus Christ with his Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing all who are oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. That is the ultimate. In the flesh, he didn't do anything without carrying the presence of God. How many of us want to be could carry out the presence Men of God? Know, well, Stand well, up on your feet and say, e my, father, my father, let your presence overshadow e my well, life. Well, let well, me well, carry out your presence. Well, Help me to do wonder for you. Well, Help well, me to well, 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 see your presence in my life. Open your mouth and pray. This, let me make, make me the carry of your presence. Wherever I go, let your presence be with me. In the name of Jesus, let me stand out with results, with breakthrough, with victory, with signs, with wonder in my life through your presence. Let me stand out above others. Let me stand out among others. In any meeting, let me transaction. Let me stand out because of your presence. Let me stand out with results. Let me stand out let Let me stand out. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. I want you to pray. I say, my Father, my Father. In the name of Jesus. Throughout this year, I will carry your presence. Wherever I go, throughout this year, Lord. Let me carry your presence wherever I go. In the name of your mother, pray. Let me carry your presence. Not only me, every member of your family. Let my wife carry your presence. Let my children carry your presence. Let my grandchildren carry your presence. Let my grandchildren carry your presence. Wherever we go, wherever we are. Lord, even in challenges, in storm, in tribulation. Even wherever we are. Let your presence be there. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let me carry your presence. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name, oh Lord. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen. Say so I decree over my life. I prophesy over my life. I decree over my family. Glory be me. That this year, when you are doing, this year, you are doing, I will carry God's presence. And I will never suffer disgrace. I will never suffer shame. I will never be downgraded. Open your mouth and pray. I decree over my own life. I decree over my family. I prophesy over my life. I prophesy over my family. That this very year, when you are doing, I will carry God's presence. I will never. I suffer shame, no disgrace, no downfall, no failure in the name of Jesus. I will carry God's presence. I declare and I declare, every member of my household shall carry God's presence in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name, O Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray.
Lift up your two hands and say, Father Lord, as I carry your presence, I will not diminish in grace. I will not diminish in favor. I will not diminish in influence. I will not diminish in glory. I will not diminish in power. Open your mouth and pray. My Lord and my God, as I carry your presence, I did I will not diminish in favor. I will not diminish in grace. I will not diminish in, 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 in influence and I will not diminish in power and authority wherever I go in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, even the Gentiles will see your presence and will pay obeisance unto me in this year, 2022, in the mighty name of Jesus. Wherever I go, I declare and I declare, I will not diminish in favor this year because of your presence will be mighty around me. I will not diminish in influence in the mighty name of Jesus. Wherever I go, Lord, I will not diminish. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. What made the difference in life of Joseph was the presence of God. If, if you have the presence of God, here, you will flee from all manners of sin. Fear of God will be mighty in your heart. No fornication, no lie, no deceit. No hypocrisy. No hypocrisy because Lord, we are not perfect, but God wants to work with our sincerity. sincerity. Our motive is what God is looking at. So when you have right motive, no hypocrisy, no black, no blackmail, no backbiting, nothing. You just keep the presence of God. The fear of God will help you secretly in your bedroom. Lay your hand on your head. In the mighty name of Jesus, I decree over my life. I prophesy over my life that the presence of God will surround me with loving favor. With loving favor, with great blessing, with great accomplishment, like Joseph, everywhere, in the name of every prison, oh Lord, let your presence surround me, let your presence surround my family, with loving favor, loving favor. With great blessing, with great accomplishment, let your presence surround me and my family. With loving favor, wherever I go, Lord, this year I need your presence. Let it be mighty for my family. Let it be mighty for my wife. Let it be mighty for my children. Wherever they go, let them enjoy loving favor of God. Great blessing in the name of Jesus. Great accomplishment in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. If the presence of God is with you, the enemy will not be able to exert They will not be able to prevail over you. In the name of Jesus, the sons of wickedness shall not afflict me this year because the presence of God will terrify them. We cause them to be afraid. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. My Father, my God, I decree over my life, over my family, that the sons of wickedness shall not afflict me this year. Because I am the apple of the eyes of God. I am untouchable because of the hand of the hunger upon my life. Because of the presence of God upon my life, the sons of wickedness will not afflict my family, will not afflict my children. In the mighty name of Jesus, we don't have my grandchildren because of your presence. Your presence, oh God, will be in us, will be in me, will be with me, will be for me. And the sons of wickedness shall not be able to exalt against me or to exploit me or to do, do evil or afflict me in the name of Jesus. Your presence shall be in me, with me, and for me in the name of Jesus. And the sons of wickedness will not be able to exalt upon me, to do wickedness and afflict me in Jesus' mighty name. We pray. Amen. Say, Father Lord, the grace to carry your presence all my life, all my days, all my moments. Run to me now. Open your mouth and pray. The grace to carry your presence all the days of my life, all the moments of my life, all the seasons of my life. Grant unto me in the name of Jesus. I need that grace. Give that grace to my wife and my family members. In the, name of Jesus. in the name of Jesus, let that great rest upon me. That every morning I will carry your presence. Every journey I will carry your presence. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, my Father. Blessed be your name. Say, my Father, my Father, let your presence be with in me now. Let your presence be in me now. Let your presence be for me now. And let your presence be with me now. Open your mouth and pray in his presence. Let your presence enter into me now. Let your presence be with me now. Let your presence be for me now. Open your mouth. Your battle that you are fighting. The presence of God will be for you. God will be your ally. In the name of inside you, O oh God, the presence of God will enter your life. You no longer be the same person again. In the name of Jesus Christ. No more fear. In the name of Jesus. That presence of God will strengthen you and help you and uphold you all the days of your life. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. For that prayer to be answered. You need to do one thing. You must surrender to him. God does not know the unbelievers. He doesn't see them. A lady was moving with an unbeliever. And we started crying for her. For marriage. And God told us, all of us are, there's no relationship yet. See, how can she marry? Ask for so a relationship first. And we told her, also, you don't have anybody to marry now. Oh, you don't have any boyfriend now. Oh, God told us that one is not a boyfriend. It's not a... It's oh, not, no, no. God doesn't know that one. Go and check. That one is not born again. Lord, would I have any of that to be? And it was true. But he was coming to church. But he was not born again. So God will not know you. Alone anymore. If you are not truly born again. That's why I want to give you an opportunity. So it's up right. to you. If a man should, if you are just on the 99% of the time, you are bitterness. I know God is also a consuming fire. We are not 99% of the time, you are always agitating. You have to check whether God is really you or not. You need to surrender your life. You need to surrender your life. And once you surrender your life, you must trust Him. Acts chapter 2, verse 28. Acts 2, verse 28. He said, Repent and be baptized. Every one of you that is not baptized, repent and be baptized. For the remission of your sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. You want to surrender to Him now. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. You want to surrender to Him now. So I can carry His presence. Let me see your hand. That's all you need to do. Rise up on your feet. I want to carry the presence of God out of here. I want to surrender to you. Let me see your hand. God bless you. Lift it up very well. Let God see your hand. I want to surrender all to him. Say, Father Lord, I surrender all to you. Come into my life. Holy Spirit, begin to rule in me. In Jesus' name, we pray. Let all of us stand up. I'm taking this last prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. Strengthen me, O God. Do exploit in my life through your presence. Let your presence make me a man of signs, a man of wonder, a man of exploit. Open your mother and pray. Open your mother. So be for Lord. Jesus mighty name we pray. Let's stretch forth our hands towards that every special that has gone out of him, Jehovah will replenish the presence of God with tabernacle with him and his family in the name of Lord Jesus. He will not diminish in strength. He will not diminish in favor. He will not diminish in glory in the name of Lord Jesus. Thank you, Most High. Blessed be to you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Uh, please, let's package our offering as we listen to the following announcement. Tomorrow, 
there will be faith clinic here. Ah, no, only coming on the camp. This coming Friday is our national Holy Ghost service. And the team is miracle. And on Sunday, my father in the Lord, the general pastor of the Redeemed Christian and our mother in Israel will be here live and direct. Oh, to come and pray for all That's the firstborn. That's and the team is and the team is transformed destiny. I pray for somebody shouting amen. Amen. God will transform your destiny. Now please make sure you invite your friends. Bring your children. And invite your neighbor as well. And God of heaven will bless you. This coming Tuesday is the commendation service for our Father in the Lord. The DGO. Who has gone to be with the Lord? Who has gone to be with the Lord? This burial service is our own service. So please, you have to come. And please invite your friends. The Almighty God will bless you. Father, accept our offering. And return bless us. As we go, go ahead of us. Go with us. Back us up. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Most High. Blessed be to your name. We pray with thanksgiving in Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let's share the grace in unison. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Lord Christ, Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Now dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Let somebody praise the Lord. Let me hear you say loud and clear, let there be light. Everything good in your life that the enemy has swallowed, they will vomit this month. It's time to regain your God-given mandate. Time to occupy your rightful position. Time to manifest. You are the head and never to tell, but it is if you're willing and obedient. Pastor E. Adebuye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, invites all firstborn and their families to a special program tag, Transform Destiny, dated the 6th of February 2022, and the time is 7.30 a.m. prompt. Venue is the Redeemed Christian Church of God, 
National Headquarters 129 Redemption Way, Ebutemeta, Lagos, Nigeria. Buses would be available at Oyimbo, Sabo, Yaba, Mushi, Idioro, Oshodi, and Redemption Camp bus stops. Are you ready for a great shift? Tell someone to tell someone. Jesus awaits you there. Let me hear you say loud and clear, let there be light. Everything good in your life that the enemy has swallowed, they will vomit this month. It's time to regain your God-given mandate. Time to occupy your rightful position. Time to manifest. You are the head and never to tell, but it is if you are willing and obedient. Pastor E. Adeboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, invites all firstborn and their families to a special program tag, Transform Destiny, dated the 6th of February 2022, and the time is 7.30 a.m. prompt. Venue is the Redeemed Christian Church of God, National Headquarters 129 Redemption Way, Ebutemeta, Lagos, Nigeria. Buses would be available at Oimbo, Sabo, Yaba, Mushi, Idioro, Oshodi, and Redemption Camp bus stops. Are you ready for a great shift? Tell someone to tell someone. Jesus awaits you there. Let me hear you say loud and clear.